So I, I tend to follow my ideas as opposed to setting out to try to write like a young adult novel where there's a 17 or 18 year old protagonist. So for me, an idea will come to me or I dig one up somewhere and I'll then go, okay, what's the best age to be kind of setting this and go from there as opposed to working the other way around. Like there was an idea I've had recently um, for what I thought would be like a really brilliant YA. And I thought that for a while, a long time actually, hadn't actually put too much pen to paper, lots of brainstorming. And then it just hit me, oh my goodness, this would be so much better dialed down as a middle grade and all of a sudden the words are flowing so you just yeah. never know you mm-hmm. can't squeeze ideas into categories they don't want to be in mm. <laughs> um yeah. yeah so um but I do I, I do seem to have something about writing you're right it is my fourth one that's yeah. pretty funny yeah well and it's probably just something that stood out for me because I know within the, the Love Oz YA committee, we've had chats at times about sort of the amorphous nature of YA and like when does middle grade stop and when does mm-hmm. adult start and, um, you know, a new adult is this whole other genre. And, um, yeah, so your, sort of, your novels sort of sit in that YA space, but I guess, yeah, they're really on that cusp of adulthood, aren't they? On that cusp, for sure. I think there's still, I think the thing with my protagonists for the YA novels is they're still got one foot in high school and one foot in the next chapter. Like there's very much in the in-between of it all, which I obviously love just being an evil author and putting them through this really testing time of their life. (laughs) I think it's because I'm obsessed with coming. I obviously love coming of age, coming of age stories. Yeah. (laughs) And I, I mean, I also think there's something important about, like, particularly if you're younger, say if you're 15 or something, reading a book like this, you know, and start and getting a sense of what, what schoolies might be like. It's obviously always talked about, you know, well before you get into year 12. So having this this sort of, I guess, um, you know, stories about that, what might happen, what might not happen, things like that, mm-hmm. it sort of, I guess, sets up this um, potential map there for for what it could be like like. I think that's why I was so mindful of of having multiple characters and so many things going on in a controlled way obviously as the writer but because I was mindful that you know a lot of 14 year olds love reading my books um I don't want to be painting a picture of something that Mm. is not going to be the way it possibly is. I wanted to show that it could be all sort a myriad of things. And even that, like you can't cover it in three stories either, but hopefully through all the different subcategory characters and things, it touches on at least a a bit, it gives you a bit of a taste of this one type of school is experience. Mm, Yeah. (laughs) Up at the coast, yeah. Yeah, 